Heaven's California Yo guys, what is going on? Welcome back to episode number 13... 16 Where am I getting 13 from? Uh, episode number 16 for the FIFA 19 Ultimate Team Road to Glory. We've got some new weekly objectives here. We've got October Fest, assist 7 goals using Bundesliga players. Don't know whether I'll do that. Finesse, score 10 goals using finesse shots this week. We should be able to do that. We'll get that nice kit there. Want to watch? Score with a Serie A uh, TIM player in 5 separate rivals wins. We are going to get to building our Serie A team um, very soon. Um, whether we'll be able to get 5 wins of it though. Uh, who knows? I'll probably buy my Serie A team once that champions is over, I'm guessing. Uh, world class. Score eight goals using the ones to watch a player in squad battles. And we get your two players packed for that. Play 11 matches, we get a gold squad fitness item. And buy seven players for at least 90 or 900 coins each. And we get a silver pack. Which is untradeable as well. Oh, this is just trash. That's good going to be bronze packs or something um we also have um some sbc's that we're going to do today i'm going to go ahead and do the marquee matchups still got lucas mora how much is the lucas mora sbc right now let's have a look on our trusty fuck being mobile app e home sbc solutions lucas mora right now is still forty-seven thousand coins the marquee matchup is going to cost us about 20 even if we had to pay for it. This Gel this Gelson Martins is an absolute rip-off. Remember, Gelson Martins is not... You know, he's not a... Anything special. The card itself is... Not great either. And that's going to cost you... 76,000 coins. And a lot of traders last night were saying, yeah, 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 go, go, go. You know, you bought your 82s to 85s. You're making sweet cash money. You're not. You're not making sweet cash money. They have barely gone up at all. Um, so I'm not going to look at that just yet. Also, we need to think about this as well. This is getting harder to do. Look at our weekly score. We need to grind a lot this weekend. To get back into rank 1. Um, I'm guessing that's because a lot more people are playing the game from fuck champs I guess. I suppose. Um, we'll just have a look at some of our prices then. Someone like Kepa. We well, bought me like 1.7. He's at 2k. And that would probably be a cheeky snipe there. 2.1k. It might keep his price up a little bit, but I'm not going to get rid of any of my investments just yet. So I'm going to go ahead then, get these uh, squad building challenges done. Uh, but I'll just quickly show you what the things are. we got Lazio versus Florentino. We just need Italian Serie A players. We don't need any particular rating, so we can use bronze and silvers for that. We need the AEK versus Olympiacos. We need Greece, Hellas Liga. There's a good sniping field there, actually. Greek Hellas Liga players. Um, no rating requirement on that either. We got a rating requirement on that, but that's basically just. Uh, I mean, you can use whatever for that. And we just need a gold team, really, which should be cheap enough to do as well. So I'm going to go ahead, get these done, and then we'll get into the packs. Also, guys, while I'm doing these, I do apologise if I seem a bit tired today. Um, there is a reason for it. Um, basically, those of you who know me or watch my videos regularly know I'm a fan of uh, F1, Formula 1, and they had a really early race today. So... Their the race, well, the, the qualifying session started at like 7, and then the um, qualifying race started at 7, and 
And the race tomorrow starts at 10 past 6, which is going to be a killer. Um, no, we don't really need to use him, do we? We can take him out. We need 85 cam. Well, as long as we get most of these on full cam. We really should be able to get it. But uh, yeah, that's why I do look maybe a little lethargic. I mean, do we need a rating for this? Players from the same nation for. I can do this. Alright then, guys, that is the final one done. Had to buy a few bronze players here and there, but nothing too expensive. Um, you know, it's only cost us like 500 coins at most, all the rest of players floating around in the club that we're never going to use. We get this. Are we going to get anything nice here? Get ourselves a nice sentinel. That's pretty nice, isn't it? But, um, yeah, let's see what we're hiding in these packs then. We got a small prime, we got a jumbo gold pack, then we got jumbo premium, we got a premium gold, and we got a small mixed players. So we'll go with the small prime silver players pack first. Skip straight through this because these are just going to get stored in the club. And because, look, they'll probably be. I mean, this guy actually might be worth something. Okay, yeah, he's worth about 3,000 coins. And then there's one left too. We'll list him for 2k. Uh, because he's worth something. Um, I mean, I doubt he's going to be worth anything. Turkish League might get a League SBC. So will the Italian League. So will the French League. So we'll store all them. Because their price will go up at some point. We get this Jumbo Gold Pack. I'm not expecting anything big from this. We're not expecting another walkout. It's not a walkout. Is it going to be a board? It's not a board. It's actually Petr Cech. Who I already have in the club, I think. Unless I've SBC'd him up. Nope, we already have him in, we already have him in the club. So we will just list him up. Uh, we'll just let him go, because I know he's worth like nothing. Gen ones, I just let him go. We'll quick sell that. And that will go. We'll go with the small Rick mixed player pack now. Because unless you get your gold player, which is... Oh, hang on, what was that? Oh, just Juardo. At the start of the game, he was probably worth quite a bit. He might still be worth quite a bit, actually, because he's a good Spanish player from the Saudi League. Is he price capped to 10k? No, 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 he's 3,000 coins. I'll probably just store him, because it's going to be easier. Uh, Jumbo Premium or do we do Premium Gold? Jumbo Premium, Premium Gold. We'll go with the Jumbo Premium because we could get something in the Gold, um, the Players Pack. Not even a board here. It's French, it's centre back, it's Marseille, it's Adil Rami. Uh, just trash, really, isn't it? It's nothing really here. That really tickles my fancy. Really have a Rami in the club as well. Um,. We'll store all that. We will. I don't think Rami's going for much, is he? 2k at most. We'll just. We'll just let him. No, we won't let him roll out. We will send him to the transfer list. I'll list him later. We'll let this guy roll out because he's really not going to be worth anything. And we will quick sell that. And then we'll go for this premium gold players pack. These can be decent sometimes. There is no walkout. Is it a board at least? No board either. It is cut Zuma. There you go. That is the rewards we have there. If you were to sell everything, probably still barely profit from that. Doing that. Did we get 20k worth of players? Probably not. But Dalba is probably going to sell. Sanabria is not really selling for anything, so he can go up. And then Tommy, we know, probably is not selling for anything either. So he can go up. We'll store that on the transfer list. Who do we get? We got Rami. And we got, who else was the other one? I can't remember. I'll have a look. We got Rami here, who is going for... Uh, going for a little bit, actually. Going for about 1.8k. And selling, kind of. We'll list him for 1.7 just to get the coins. 
Alright, uh, let's go over here. Wow, where is he? Where is he? Here he is. How should I say? What's up, man? And then, where is the next one we were gonna sell? I can't even see. Ah, Dalbert, yes. Let's have a look what Dalbert is at. Because I'm guessing Dalbert's probably a little bit right, because he looks a little bit sweaty. Dalbert is at. Oh, hold on a second, Dalbert is. Hold on a second here. He's worth 3,000 coins here. He's at 2.9k there, that's huge. There we go, the Rami sold straight away. Let's go all the way to the end. It's my. One thing I was noticing editing the video yesterday is that the game samples are very high. We'll turn up a little. Uh, we will list Dalbert up for 2.9k. He will sell very nicely. And that is basically going to be it for the packs, guys. Haven't really got anything else to show you. Played only two games last night, hence my thing was my, I'm so far back in points. Um, although in like two days, that's really, really high. You know, last week we had to get 24k. I ended at like 25. I got just in. That could be like 30,000 points this week, guys. Honestly. If you think about it, that's just in what? Two days? Actually, it'd be about the same, wouldn't it? It might be nearer 30. Um, but I don't have the journey to play anymore. I finished the journey last night and I wanted to do that. Um, which I was pretty impressed with. You know, I like the journey. I think. I don't see the people's problem with the journey, man. I think the journey's a nice little game mode. Um. But obviously some people don't like it. And you know, for the rewards it gives you, we do we did get rewards from it. Um let's quickly show them. They'll be in my club. They'll probably be special cards as well, right? Quality special. We get ourselves the these are all tradable, right? No. That's tradable. Yeah. Um, we got ourselves an Alex Hunter there who looks, for what he is in the game, is trash. Really? He isn't very good. Um, wouldn't recommend using him. I mean, his stamina is pretty good. Let's go back to his stamina. I mean, bearing in mind when I finished the journey, he's on like an 86 overall. Why they can't just transfer his card over, I do not know. Probably would be a little bit too over overpowered. But we also have this Hunter card here who looks nearly as good as Alex Hunter himself. And then we have a Danny Williams who is pretty decent as well. He was decent in the Hunter, but yeah. We're going to drop out of here. Um, did we have three teams? Did we have... Let's go to Serie A because we have the Bozali, right? Did we have any? Do we have any more Serie A players we can throw in here? Because we might have packed some over the last couple of days. We weren't really aware of. Because I do want to get this done. This Serie A team. We have Manzukic. I'm willing to give Manzukic a try. I'm willing to give Raul Albiol a try uh, as well. I'm willing to give Manzukic a try. People say he's pretty good. Uh, so I'll I'll definitely try him. You know, his attack positioning is really good. Um, who else do we have here? Let's have a look. We got. We got Romagnoli, I mean, he could be possible, but we already have two centre backs, right? We got Barzali, and we have Albiol, who, if I put a pace card on him, would be. His stamina is trash. But. Is Romagnoli's. Romagnoli's is better. Do I just sell the Albiol? Who's worth. Who's better, Albiol or Barzali? Who's Toro? Roll Albiol is 6-3, I think Bozzali is 6-2. They're both low high, so they're not going to come storming up the pitch. I'm going to maybe possibly sell Raul Albiol 
Um, or I'll just keep him in the club for now. Just in case there's an SBC that needs him. I might give Rob Magnolia a go, honestly. He doesn't look too bad. I mean, we'll see what he looks like in a team of full cam. Uh, who else do we have here? Let's just see if we can fill out a, a La Liga side. So we got Skorupski, but we'll get a better goalie, of course. We don't have any right back. We have Asamoa, who doesn't look too bad. Who's very well-rounded, and well-rounded cards look good. So I'm going to use him over Dalbert, just because Dalbert's stats are a little bit. His balance and reactions, composure isn't great. His crossing is not great either, compared to Asamoa, who has good crossing. Uh, his curve here, good curve as well. Mid, Serie A midfielders. I mean, we can use Emre Chan, right? And we might as well use the, the lone Milinkovic Savic because why not? We don't have any um, CDMs. Actually, we do. I would put over these two. Probably Chan in CDM. And I know who I'm going to put in this side. Because you know I like my, my attacking midfielder this side. I'll go with Dybala. Uh, he's left footed, right? Yeah. So I'll put him over that side so we can come in for finesse shots. We'll put Dybala over there. We just need a right back. But everyone's on full chem already, right? Nearly. Um, if we have a Serie A manager, that would help. A big time. Uh, Serie A, Serie A, Serie A, Serie A. Is that Serie A? No, that's Russian League. Uh, Serie A, 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 Serie A. Here we go. Jampa Colo, we get the a nice. We have three Champions League cards in there, which is really fancy. We have a few loans. I mean, actually, if we're thinking of loan cards, we could put in. Well, we could put that in. We can do that. We can do that. We can do that. We might as well, right? We might as well put him there. We got 10 games of Ronaldo. We might as well snap Ronaldo up top. We might as well put Handanovic in there for five games as well. All we need is a Premier League or a Serie A right back. Someone like Asamoa now, who's on, should be full chem. Has a very decent card. You know, well-rounded. Very well-rounded. Um, I think he'd be pretty decent, Asamoa, down there. But um, that's how the Serie A team is looking. As I said, I will possibly have a look at buying some of the cards for it after Monday. Which is supposedly a sell day and after squad battles as well. Um, but we're obviously going to change back to the Premier League and we will jump into our first game for the episode. Alright then guys, let's get going. Game number one. Ah oh dear, we do need to put Chemistry Stars on. I'll do Chemistry Stars Monday when we get the Serie A team going. Come on Tom mate, come on. Filthy. I'm sure oh, look, he's already got the fucking finesse shots. What a Donny. Maybe he's a finesse whore. Or maybe he just has had a sick team. Holy shit, he's got a stacked team, man. Costa, that's is that Inzaghi up there with Rakitic and Dembele and Waki, whoever that is on the left, and Saul and Fernandez, Piquet, Adan, Semedo, Felipe Luis. Holy fucking shit. Are you kidding me? Cheeky chip, my cheapy chick from Bleep on Zaki. Yeah, guys, I don't think we're winning this one. I think we're going to struggle to get rank one this week, man. Rank one is like miles up the fucking board. And he's playing this annoying 4 4 2. You just have two banks of two just sat there, just. All over you. Oh no, not Nzaki again. Thank the Lord. Here he is. His Fraser on the ball. Fraser, there's a nice ball. To Lacazette. It's one It's goal number 50. For Alexandre Lacazette. <laughs> Woo! Let's go. Look at that nice little finish from Lacazette. Woo, 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 woo. It's under Herrera, under Herrera, side-footed it, you dickhead! It was pretty hot for him. 
Oh, here comes a goal. Usman. Oh. Of course. <sighs> God damn it. Good run here from Mares. Mares. Dinky. Oh, and it's Fraser to make it to all. There we go. Nice one from Fraser. Woo! Yes, Fraser. What a little look at this. Lovely. Morris has definitely found his feet in the team, man. 100%. He's playing really well. There we go. That's high time on the whistle. And we're not doing too badly. It's 2 all. Um, fairly even game. Hopefully we should be able to get something from it. Now Linga. Gone. It's Jesse. Jesse. Oh, Fernandez with a last minute interception. Still on the ball though. Finds Mares. He's going to take it wide. He'll snap a ball in and that's that one over. God damn it. Oh no, it's Filippo. He's tried chipping me again. Why is this chipping, man? Chip so many chipping here, he might as well work in a chip shop. My God, Fraser again! Oh, it was a really good, venomous strike from Fraser there. That's unlucky. Oh, my goodness me, that was very nearly a goal. But now we can break. Here is Henderson. No, we can't break. Henderson's just going to run into the... <laughs> oh, poor pass from Herrera there. Just sloppy, and it could cost us a goal. Henderson, good interception. Let's get that ball over there to Mahrez. Look at the space. Mahrez touches it down fantastically. Here is Mahrez. Mahrez. Going to run it to the byline. It's got to be in. Oh, it's at the stairs. Oh, that was close. Here's Mares. Mares on the right-hand side here. Got to find some space. Here we go. Mares finds some brilliant space. Gets it to Fraser, but Fernandez is there. But he gets the ball back here. Herrera. Fraser! Oh no, what an awful shot. We're going to have to go attacking here. It's Mares. Mares is in. Oh, the goalkeeper, the blocks, man. Oh, that would have beaten the goalkeeper for sure. Come on. Let's get a good ball in here. Henderson. It's a really good ball. It's Herrera. It is! Let's go, Herrera, with the goal. Let's put it down, Ultra D. We don't want to lose this win. Referee, blow that whistle. Come on! What a win! Woo! Wowzers, what a game. The 90th minute cheese. Mares, man of the match. The wingers were fantastic in that game, man. Oh, my goodness. What a win. They're the type of wins we need. They're the type of wins we need to try and get this to rank one, man. Holy shit. That was a huge win. Good points as well, right? 770. Really good. Oh, wow. That was a heck of a win. I can't wait for the second game. Right then, come on, second game. We've already got one win. We're looking for a second win right here. 81s all across the board. We're coming up against Ken's. We're going in the Xbox kit, repping Xbox. Ah, uh, so we got. Let's see what we got. We have got ourselves. Oh, a big Premier League team here. We got Robertson with Baye, Matip, Pereira, Schmeichel, Fred Dembele, Wijnal or Vinaldum with Mane. Zahar and the player of the month, Lucas, up at right winger. <laughs> Gonna be a tricky game, but we will do our best.
today. I'm Martin Tyler. Alan Smith is with me. That's all one can do is his best. Or his or her best. That's all you can do in life, guys. You can only do your best. Played forward. A bit of mass in this attack. Room now out of the wing. Oh, that's just bollocks, man. The defending did the tackle, didn't even tackle the player. Well, he knew exactly where the goalkeeper was going. Look at that, tackled him, tackled him two times, and he just manages to slip it through. Ah, oh, damn it. Follow! So, oh my god. He should have scored there. Go on, Herrera. Why is he side footing everything? They need to get this side footing out of the game. I swear to god, it is costing me games with this side foot crap. Just side footing random shots. Why would you side foot a shot from 30 yards out? The player intelligence. There's always something. There's always something they have to patch. Like why? Why is the? Why is that even in the game for the start? You know, is it? Is it like they just think, oh, side footing is really pretty decent, and you know, real players actually use side footing. A lot more than we think. You know, they might do for a finesse shot or something, but nothing else. They're not going to side for a shot from 30 yards out unless they've really bollocks it up. There we go, then. Half time, and we still need the jumpers. <sighs> Everyone's team is so much better than mine. Ah, uh, look, we haven't even had a shot on target. Oh, damn it. Here we go, counter time. Here, go, go. It's counter time. Yo, da, 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 Woo! Yeah, there we go. Nice finesse shot. Lacazette again. Lacazette is clinical, man. Lacazette's a beast striker. Oh my god, this referee. This referee is too lenient. He's giving so many fouls away. Like, different referees. What the hell's happened now? He's paused, of course. He's probably going to bring some fresh legs on any, I'm guessing. Yep, substitution. James Rodriguez comes on for Thingy. Oh, I bet he scores it as well. I mean, it's not much use putting Fraser at the front post, but it might help. Ah! <laughs> Go on, Lacazette! Ah! No! Flipping way! Oh, that's annoying. Fuck off! This guy has just jammed his way to two goals! Oh! My god! This game is so annoying, fuck's sake, ultra attacking. And there we go guys, we lose 2-1, some bull fucking shit. Ah, damn it, it's really, it was a tight game, last, where, last time our wingers played fantastically, this game they played like absolute trash. And same shots on target. But we have an extreme save and a crossbar hit, and he doesn't, essentially. But, I guess we're going to have to end it there then, guys. So that's going to be the end of this video. If you enjoyed, make sure to drop a like. If you're new around here, don't forget to subscribe. 
turn those notifications on. Thanks so much for watching. Stay safe, stay awesome, stay happy. And I'll catch you all in the next one. Goodbye.